Say I love a girl named Madeline. I know she loves me too. Hello. Welcome to The Painting Gamer. I had to think about it because we recently changed the title. Uh, Peyton Gamer, I'm Madfish Magpie. Welcome. We're going to paint, and we're going to paint inspired by the video games we love. Today we are inspired by No Man's Sky, so this is a special Whoa Man's Sky episode. And we're going to do something real cute for almost like a, like a baby's nursery room. We've done this before. It's with a very small canvas, and so... We're going to make something cute. We're going to do the biological samples in the jar, which I just really love. I think they're so cute. And I wanted to do something that felt a little um, just very basic, I guess, <laughs> um, but but sweet. And it could be for any kind of baby, you know, girl, boy, a uh, little science fiction nerd baby. So I hope you're excited. I'm excited. Do we have a picture of it in this box? We do. It's right right here little biological sample how cute and usually they have the yellow background uh in the little box that they're in right so we're gonna do a yellow background and I love that kind of just glowing pink jar thing it'll be really sweet I think so I gotta check in with chat while we start painting this background oh hi to moose and Warfy, uh, Warfy, our wonderful patron, thank you. Skip to Malou, story time. Welcome, good to see you, Dariel. I'm on time. Hey, Tom, thanks for being here. Um, you guys are awesome. Good day, good day, Skip. <laughs> Mighty Monarch, what's up? Welcome, hi. Um, thank you to everybody who's come in. Smash the like button, and without further ado, we'll get to work. You're going to need some things for painting. You'll want a cup of water or a jar of water. You're going to want a bunch. Oh, sorry, that might have been loud. You want brushes. Yeah. Use mine. Well, for now, I'll have to find a solution later. I'll just grab this at the yeah. end. Ooh, perfect. Solution, solution. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, so check it out. You got your water. We need also a canvas, which I already showed you, and brushes and a palette. And today we're using a paper plate. That's for all of our beautiful colors that we're going to use. So you'll need paint too, or whatever medium you want to work in today. I'm working with acrylic paint because it's very forgiving, it dries quickly, and it's a lot of fun. Thank you. Howdy all, that's right. So, we're going to do the background yellow, nice bright ducky yellow, which I love. I'm still loving on this. Carnival um, themed folk art acrylics that have these cute little stickers on the top, which I love. But this is a nice, uh, strong, it's already opaque yellow. A lot of yellows can be see through, kind of transparent, and you need to add white to them to get a nice opaque look. But this one already is very rich pigment. It's the paint, not me, I promise. So here we go, onto our little canvas here. Um, isn't it little, it's so little and adorable. This is why I'm saying this would be perfect for like a little nursery, like your little nerd baby just was born to your space addicted parents and you wanna have a cute. My brother had those, um, he had a set of those, decals for your walls that were space invader decals so he had those set up in the nursery it was very cool 
big and bright and colorful and kind of pixelated is fun. I always had a dream that I would paint a room Minecraft themed. And I would cut a little sponge into a square and then make all the different Minecraft textures. I was thinking it'd be a cool for a bathroom. Yeah. So nice long strokes with a nice thick brush. And we might do two coats of this yellow. We are getting some of that grayish white of the canvas kind of creeping into the yellow. So it's less bright and a little more green almost. It's turning green, like a gray blue textured canvas. Getting more coffee, BRB. Hi, Rod. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. You guys hear me okay? I'm talking down to the canvas and not over mm -hmm. here to the mic, and I don't know which sounds better or if it's all okay. Um, I also thought it would be fun to paint one of the small elements of No Man's Sky because uh, our featuring Kurt as the very special very special person um, on Good at Game tomorrow. I thought this would be a fun little pre-tribute. And if you haven't gone into the Good at Game Discord to write nice things about Kurt yet, you can take this opportunity while you're hanging out with me. Go ahead and put me on in the background for a second. Go say nice things about Kurt. Because who, who hasn't relied on that app for something at some point, if not all the time? I defy the person to come forward. And then really all they need to do is just like download the app. Because <laughs> you're missing out. That's the assistant for No Man's Sky app. If you're watching this later and you don't know. Why? Why no worky? What's we're not working? The link? Are you getting the link? Purdy yellow. Oh, I just took that. Sorry, I wanted to get the sides. I, I took the canvas away to get the sides there. Because I think it's cute to not necessarily frame something like unless you have a good theme in your whatever room you're decorating and you know that you want to frame pictures. I like to just paint the edges so you can frame it or hang it with no frame. Yeah, so we're going to let that dry for a minute and maybe come back in with a little more to touch it up. Make it even brighter. The paint, I promise. How are you all doing? I hope well. Happy Saturday. Welcome to your weekend, I hope. Oh, great. There we go. The assistant for No Man's Sky app link is in the chat. Thank you, Dimash Smash, my wonderful producer, cameraman, and love. <laughs> oh, and the Good at Game Discord. Good, good, good. So, Good at Game Discord. Mighty, I'm not sure you're in it yet. Get on it. Go join, because you too could be the very special person. But there is a channel in our Good at Game Discord. That is says very special person and it's to put a tribute to Kurt tomorrow on our podcast and and it's super fun and ridiculously like heartwarmingly barf delicious and <laughs> yeah get on it it's so fun it's so nice to like have a moment where we all just like say nice things about somebody put all that positivity into the world Sorry, I didn't realize the camera was on me. Hi. <laughs> um, so you're, you're very special already, but, you know, 
we can like make a big deal about it one day. Join the Discord. Everyone who joins gets to be put in the big red hat. Um, the Dimash works too. <laughs> mm. So, <laughs> Dimash, y'all. So, yeah, this is gonna be a cute painting. Um. Oh, also, Mad Vice. Don't forget if you have a big question about life. Um, there's a channel in the Good at Game Discord where you can ask me questions and I'll give you my wonderful ideas and opinions. And I'm not certified to do it, but I'm, but, uh, you know, I like to be helpful. Um, oh, dear. There's some National Geographic happening in my living room. And it's the Black Panther versus the Tiger. I don't know, they're just like zooming. They're just zooming. They it's Godfrey in chase of Piwacket. Probably okay. Just Yeah. Very exciting. It's you know, I don't need to watch National Geographic because of having four cats. Just I get to witness it right there in front of me. Yeah. They're they're hunters. Good hunters. They eat flies, moths, and spiders. It's fabulous. I love it. Thankfully, I don't have cockroaches or mice or anything. Ooh. But if I did, I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, let's see. Warfy just fell out of the shower, managed to get to my bed, initiating pain relief. Oh, God. Warfy, I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. Slob's not set up here, Dario. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. I gotta figure that out. I didn't want it. I didn't want it. I wanted maybe some things, but I needed time to like figure out what I want. <laughs> um, it's hard for my eyes to read the chat as it is. And so if there were a ton of like links and things going on, like I just, it's harder for me to follow along with you guys and you're important to me in these streams because it's the painting and we're I don't know. You get it. I hope you understand anyway. Uh, no problem. Ouch, Warby. Oh. They're okay. They're okay. They're fine. But yeah, I'm going to go back to the canvas. It's still a little wet, but we'll try putting on a second coat of yellow here. Yeah, I think if we make it thick enough it'll be a nice second coat well we're, we're gonna just see less of the gray blue of the canvas under you guys might not be able to see that in this camera but um yeah because you want the you want a piece that you're gonna hang up in your house to be bright and um have a good contrast most of the walls you find around in houses are all blue gray already, so yeah, we still need that. A very thick coat of paint. <laughs> but it's good, we're using up this color, which I do love, but I kind of, I'm itching to buy some new paint. Come out. Sometimes you just have to shake it. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh. Looking good. Yeah. Very 
very, very bright. I'm just trying to even out some brush strokes. There we go. And I think we're done with this brush for now. So we're gonna stick it in our water. I almost put it in the wrong water. <laughs> I saw that. Almost put that in your coffee. Yes. Be careful when you're um drinking and painting to Always double check which water is the one you put your brushes in before you just go hog wild in there. <laughs> Do you ever water down your paint? Why, why not? Um, I do. I do. But, um, so. Use my words. I can't come up with words. I just see circles every time I blink. Um, <laughs> so I, I a lot of times in the past, you'll see in my videos where like I'll water down the canvas to start and then put my background color paint on top, uh, which can a lot of times be white. Um, and that's a fun way to start. But Water and acrylics are sort of frowned upon. I think that some people um, get really, you know, they want you to do it with all the right techniques, right? So there is a medium that waters down your acrylic paint. And I think it's called gesso or like there's other versions of it that are more watery. And so you can change the consistency of your paint with an actual medium that has similar chemical properties too acrylic and so they bond better and the um the naughty thing that I do is use water to wet my paint first or the canvas first and then put the paint on top and technically they're saying you know people I've watched that you know care <laughs> um that the paint the water um doesn't create a good bond with the canvas because a lot of the canvases are pre-treated with some acrylic in them um so or something like that. But the chemical then has like a barrier to the good bonding with the paint you put on the canvas. And so anyway, it's like apparently not good quality to do that. <laughs> um, but you know what? When I make lots and lots of money or someone wants to sponsor me and give me great paint to work with, then I will use that stuff. But for now, I use water. <laughs> um, and I think were I to sell originals of any of my paintings I would definitely put a nice good uh you know like top coat um sealer seal sealer on it yeah so th they'd last they'd be fine I don't know you know <laughs> they're just they're my paintings they don't need to last a hundred and two hundred years I don't know I don't know how long acrylic paint should last wouldn't that be weird, though? They just found a shoe that's, like, really, really old. Did anybody see that article? I found that really fascinating. I was staring at the thing. I was like, that thing is thousands, thousands of years old. And it was, like, beautiful and cloth and quilted and very fancy. I was kind of just like, wow. Anyway, anybody else see that? <laughs> um, oh, look, I need to hold it with my left hand. This is a Beeble mug. And I ordered the left-handed one because I thought you could only get this color in the left-handed one. Apparently, I could have chosen the right-handed one and changed the color, but I didn't know. Your, your store's confusing, Beemble. So, I have a left-handed mug. Oh. You'll have to raid him after. <laughs> yeah, we'll raid, we'll raid Beemble and we'll... Um, Tell him your store sucks. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so do I. I could never afford gesso. Yeah. Mm. No, I mean, who 
who, who wants to bother, right? You know, um, and Daryl, did you see, like, last week I was doing a lot of water, super watery, like, almost turning, turning my acrylic into a watercolor, um, just with a lot of water on the brush. I love doing that. That's fun. Um, oh, and then, you know, side to Daryl, with my, um, like, because this yellow, right, is running low, but there's still a bunch of good paint on the inside of the bottle, and so when I get so low that I can't really squeeze any more out, I'll save those, and then one day I usually decide to just, I'm like, I feel like doing a Jackson Pollock painting today, and so I'll just put a tiny bit of water in there and shake it up, and then, like, I can take the cap off and throw it, or I can use the little, little spout and make cool, like, streaky things. Um, there's, it's super fun. So that's what I like to do with the end of my acrylic bottles. Extra project. Super fun. Great project to do with kids, too. Because, like, if you can go out on a lawn or you have a painting drop, you can just put somewhere where you don't mind if it goes a little beyond the borders or on some walls. you got a shed or whatever. Oh, man, kids love this. And it's because there's no pressure to be perfect or anything and just use color and have fun and yeah it's one of my favorite things to do with kids hi captain steve welcome we're waiting for some paint to dry so we're just chilling right now um <laughs> maggie's laughing and death <laughs> yes i love it um just shared your stream on twitter thank you dario very much hi steve welcome i, ho I hope you're doing well we're going to, um, you can see that today we are painting a biological sample. Am I holding it? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's super cute, but I made my background really, really wet. So it's still drying. It's here. I'll show you. Look. Oh, it's so wet. Look, can you see the shine of how wet it is, guys? Yeah, the other can. Look. Woo! I'll hold it in front of the air purifier. Oh. <laughs> so Mash is going to go take it and put it in front of our little fan blower. Farewell painting. See you soon. Um, so, yeah, when you paint that, that thick, yeah, should have done it last night, maybe. But, um, yeah, you can use a hair dryer. They also make special paint dryers. That are pretty cool. Don't get those too close to the canvas, though. They're really hot. They set things on fire. Um, yeah, for now. It's the first day of rain today, you guys. Oh, let's all celebrate. If you've got a glass, so whatever, cheers, please, and pray for more. We are, we have been on fire, and today it rained, and so I'm feeling good. I have the doors open. It's the first day I've felt comfortable getting some fresh air in here. Oh, I love rain. I love rain so much. I almost want to cry about it. It's so, oh, it just feels good on my heart. <laughs> so yeah, thank you, rain gods. Please, please keep doing it. Keep having your rain party. Um, yeah, wet and thick. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Welcome. Thanks for coming by. Cheers. Yes. Oh, we need those fires to go out. We need firemen to get back to, and women to get back to their families. And, oh, yeah, it's just been the cloud, the, the um, smokiness. Oh, God. Listening to the weather report was, I was just laughing because smoke is now a part of our weather report, apparently. And, um, it's just oppressive, it, especially because, like, part of the reason we love living here is because of all the mountains you can see. And I, it's a joke to me that, like, I say the smoke is bad based on a mountain rating. Like, yesterday was a 4.8 mountain day, you guys. And it's, it's like a five or six is a normal regular day where you can just breathe. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking forward to this all blowing out. The whole past two months has been one to two mountain days where I can, that sometimes zero mountain days, like literally the smoke is so thick, you cannot see the mountains that are right outside your doorstep. And 
it's been hard. It It's like seasonal depression, except the wrong time of year. And I was coughing all the time. And so getting headaches from just like having this constant cough and, and, and not a, not a covfefe cough. Okay. I am, I am well, <laughs> we are quarantined, but just like <clears throat> getting a frog in my throat constantly from all this smoke. It's, it has been awful. So I just, I'm just trying to put into perspective for you. Like, you know, you're like, oh, it's raining. Cool. No, it's freaking raining. Uh oh, that's okay. I'm gonna paint over that. So, yes, this is hence why I'm like literally like, please celebrate and do more rain dances. Whatever you can do to just manifest that for us, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Snow, yikes! Is that early? Snow? Is it snowing already? Who mentioned snow? Nella, you're so late. No, you're <laughs> welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, it rained here for the first time in a long while yesterday oh good good daryl awesome yes water is life yes um super windy here today got a 40 percent chance of snow on monday too oh my gosh okay that's the snow there we go you must be at a high altitude awesome hello everyone saying hello yes welcome nella welcome hi kj welcome Awesome, you guys. Thank you for being here. So, yes, we've been gabbing during our 10-minute uh, dry break. I've been thinking of doing... <laughs> I don't know what you guys think of this. A section where, like, where I need... If I need a painting to dry, that we could throw on some, like, public domain dance music. And I could do a little dance. <laughs> and then I could do, like, puppet shows or, like, you guys could request, like... We could get it hooked up to where you could go around and beat Saber. Yeah, I could juggle. <laughs> you could juggle. <laughs> I could do a whole lot of things for you guys. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> just think about it. I don't know. Um, everyone, welcome KJ. Awesome. Yeah, heart ten thousand feet elevation. That's that's like high, right? It's way higher than us. Okay. Dude, that's amazing. Um, lots of oxygen up there, right? You you've probably got that amazing like you got good lungs. Less, less oxygen. Less oxygen? Okay, so but that means your lungs are strong because they're working harder, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I I went to Colorado once and I remember like having to get used to that. That was wild. Yeah, but I was still doing some hiking. It was great. Great fun. You could use Dimash as a puppet and make him say things. <laughs> we could, I could do a ventriloquy act. <laughs> ventriloquy? Yeah. With But with my human dummy. Right. Yeah. I'm down for that. <laughs> Must be beautiful, Monarch, at that elevation. Oh, yeah, I bet. Mm. Very cool. All right. Take this, take this mouse. I want to oh. see if it reaches... Yeah, it does. Right, so these two. This one? one? That one? Yep. And this one? This was your face cam. This okay. is your paint. Ooh, I did it! Okay. Uh-huh. I gotta go. Look at that. I'm running my own show. I gotta go. Wait, how do I end it? Oh. The red button. Well, you'll want to go to your intro, replay your intro again. Okay. And then when it sits it. Right okay. Button. Okay, cool. Sweet. I have the power. <laughs> have a good painting. Have a good coffee. Uh, Daryl says we love you, Demay. <laughs> Omg, KJ, the allergies are real. Oh, I used to live in Vail. Two years on antihistamines. Oh, God, no. Yeah, that's that's like real life stuff. I was so thankful when I lived in L.A., my allergies went away. Gone. No allergies. And now I'm back to it. 
back to the old Oregon cottonwood trees. Love it. Um, yeah, basically my life is miserable from May to July. And then it's more miserable again because of the smoke through August and now September. <laughs> um, I'm used to it. I've been living at high elevation and off for the last 10 years now. Somebody quote that with my human dummy. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the quotes. I don't have quotes. I know. I, I'll put some of the things in there. I just like can't have too many linkages because it's hard for my eyes to look at chat <laughs> um it started with altitude sickness and then the anti causes allergies i'm sure oh my gosh oh no she has the power fear the mad fish yes no don't fear me don't fear me yes don't fear me um so there we go cool ah back to the painting it's still a little bit wet but i think for what we're about to lay in here, it's going to be just fine. We're going to do an outline in white for the jar. For our little j -j -j jar, 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 j -j -jar, jar, jar, beans. And I'm thinking I might. So we're going to get some white out here and do I have gold? I don't have gold. I have kind of a brassy color, but yeah, I wanted a metallic color. So we'll use this for the lid of the jar and the glowing outline will be white. We've got some pink all over the place. So actually, maybe we'll put in the pink first. This is the perfect pink also part of the carnival set and we also want some blue and the pink and blue will naturally make purple we may wind up wanting some purple we'll just put it back there in case but the blue what color blue are you i think like this robin's egg blue it might be a little too light but be perfect. What are you? Yeah, this will have to do. Caribbean. Caribbean blue. It's almost the right same color as Beeble's coffee mug. This guy here. Oh, look. See, though, if I use it the wrong way with my right handed, now you guys can see it way better. There, Diaz Lee says, Nella, well, there is a bright pink crater in the next. Oh my gosh. Fighter. Oh, fighter. <laughs> I was like, a whole freighter is in the Nexus? That's crazy. Um, very cool, though. So, on my palette, Trying to figure out what you guys can see here. Yes. On the palette. Well, I'm just this this huge thing of white is just crazy. So I'm just going to get a little bit of white out here. And then get this out of the way. Yeah, Samurai Saturday, you guys, it's going to be so much fun. Um, Dimash is going to play to like five. Arashi? No, I can't remember what exactly he said he was going to play. Uh, but it's a Samurai game, which I'm super stoked about. And then at five, I get to join him playing Ghost of Tsushima. I used to be, I used to bale the hay here and ride in the mountains and garden and use lavender and now I can't stand even a tiny bit of perfume from across the door. Oh my gosh, KJ. You know, that's so interesting as we mature, we just, our palettes change, our 
her nose is changed. It's very strange. I put it in your SS page. Screenshots page. Awesome. Thank you, Nella. Painting while I do the wheel bearing on my truck and Maddie painting while I do the wheel bearing on my truck and weather is perfect. Man, I love Saturdays like this. Oh, Moose, that sounds lovely. Cool. Getting it done. Multitasking and enjoying your work. I love that. Moose. I hope it's going well. All right, cool. So I've got the white on the palette. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze out the other colors I wanted here. I got my pink. And the gold, brassy colors, and metallic. And the blue. And we'll save purple only for if we really need it. Might not need it. Temtem Moose, sorry, I went to sleep. Moose been playing Temtem? That's awesome. Were you playing with Rayet? Very cool. I want to see some of that. Good times. So I'm going to actually, so I said I was going to do the white outline first, but I'm thinking actually I'm going to do an outline of, um, I'm going to use my thick brush here with wiry bristles and use the pink. I'm just going to tap the tip of my brush into the pink and sort of dab off excess on my palette. Then we're going to sort of do the same motion. So we're perpendicular to the canvas and going up and down just lightly with the brush. And we're gonna just put in this out, kind of the outline of the jar. grab a little bit of that pink back from the canvas or from the palette sorry mm -hmm. and it's okay if it's a little messy a couple places where the you know if this is a representative of a fume or or part of a glow that just comes from the jar because of its content it's sort of just glowing glittery emerging from the jar so do a few spots where it's just sort of outside of the jar And we won't really need this brush again. We might, but I don't I might do a little extra pink. But we don't need this brush anymore, so we'll put it in the water. Now I want to start putting in some of this gold lid, metallic lid, curve up here. And it's okay that this has some of the background shining through kind of naturally gives it some shading and layer
Cool. So there's our lid. Played Tim Tim. It's pretty good. You liked Tim Tim. I love Tim Tim Moose. Sorry, I went to sleep. Oh yeah. Um, it's sort of Pokemon like, right? But but different. It looks really cute. Sweet, you were live last night. Awesome, Moose. So next I'm going to line in the jar with some white. And I'm gonna use a smaller brush, but with flat bristles, so I can use it to in the direction that I want to go in with a little thin line. So I'm just getting some white on my brush. And we're going to lay in the outline of our jar. So from the lid, it has a little um, bit of a slant uh, outwards, both sides. So we can start by making nice and hmm? looks like uh, pancakes with little wings <laughs> coming down from the sides like that. And I'm going to keep getting paint on my brush uh, frequently because the background yellow still really isn't too dry, so I, we are mixing a bit as we go, but that's all right. It gives it nice natural shading. So we're going to come down and then have a little round bottom. Straight lines can be intimidating when you're painting, and I say just go for it. <laughs> It, what I like to do is just sort of get an idea, like in pool, if you've ever shot pool, get an idea of where you want to end up. And then in your mind's eye as you're going, keep that little spot in your mind's eye. You can smooth it out once, you know, you want to go lightly, then smooth it out with a little more paint. Once you've got it laid in. So my mind's eye wants to go about right here. We're starting here, I'm trying to end up there. So Then we'll do a little connecting, slightly curved line. And there's our jar. Loving the glowing orange pink. Yeah, isn't that cool? Super fun. And this white outline also helps it give that glowing feeling. Smoothing out a couple of spots. But I don't want to touch it too much. It's looking pretty good. So 
So that's pretty cool. Now, these biological samples are so interesting. They're just like a, a weird kind of shape, almost. They're almost like little discs, but kind of square uh, with little pokies. I'm not sure the detail of it. It's <laughs> very interesting. So I think we will wind up starting with the white centers and then bringing blue in around it. Maybe, no, I might start with darker colors and then layer it. Yeah, we'll just be doing some, some more hanging out because we'll have to wait for it to dry, but that's fine. Yeah, um, I am feeling like now that I have the white outline in, that there is like a constant pink glow all the way around everywhere. So there's a couple of spots I want a little more pink to come in. And since it's a more detailed area that I'm looking at, I'm looking for a small, here we go. I have a small brush that has wiry bristles. And so I can use those to help tap in a little bit extra of that. So I'm just putting the tip of my brush into the pink and I Make sure to get off all the excess. I really don't want a lot on there. So that touching these little spots, getting some of that background. It has a nice constant glow right around the outside. And I'm just using kind of a dry brushing technique here. So little paint on the brush. But it's giving a nice pop to that glowing outline. When I go back for more paints, I'm not even going to go back to the glob. I'm going back to where I dabbed off some of the excess before. How little paint I want on the brush. Right here on the bottom, I'm just going to hold the canvas real quick. Get a good angle. There. How fun is that? Hot pink glow. Hot pink. Some hot biological sample. Sample. It's a great band name. Hot biological sample. <laughs> All right. So put that in the water. Magic, welcome. Hi, Magic, what's up? Welcome to the painting stream. Don't forget to hit that like. Uh, we are doing a biological sample today in honor of Kurt, who did the assistant for No Man's Sky app. He's our very special person of the week for the Good at Game Discord podcast. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so if you haven't joined the Discord for Good at Game yet, the link is farther up in the chat and um, you want to join so that you can say something nice to Kurt about him in the channel that says very special person. 
It's a really special tribute we do every week on the podcast. And I'm so excited to honor Kurt. We'll have this hanging in the background as well. <laughs> I love it. So, um, have you all ever played the silhouette game that Kurt does on Twitter? If you're on Twitter, he does the, like, it's almost like the Pokemon, like, after school specials, that, like, on TV used to have this thing where it'd show a silhouette of a Pokemon and you could guess, right? And I don't know if there was official prizes or anything, but, um, it was just a cute little trivia game kind of thing. And Kurt does that with the objects in the catalog and it's really cool. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, why is the background yellow? Never mind. It's a super rare one. Cool. Yeah, the background's yellow mm -hmm. because I like yellow. <laughs> and it makes me happy. I think also, isn't it yellow? What, the item in the in your inventory? Isn't it yellow? The biological sample? I don't know. There's a few of them. So we'll go back to the painting here. Um, I'm just waiting for some of this pink to dry. I might even, because it's not important, we're going to be painting over it. I'm going to take a paper towel and speed things up a little bit in the areas that I want to paint. You might lift off paint from the canvas, which is sometimes not what you want. So sometimes you just have to be patient, but I think it's going to be okay. It's mostly up here anyway, so we'll start at the bottom. And as I'm inspecting these little guys more, what's in this jar, they have kind of a grayish border. So I'm going to see about what grays I have on hand or just put a little black on my palette near my white and make a gray for myself. That's what we'll do. So right near my white, I'll just put a tiny bit of black because a little goes a long way. And we're gonna be making some diamond shapes with it. So we'll do a small to medium brush. Small to medium that has flat bristles, um, but has a nice little point. And I'm just going to, I like to use the stem of my brush to mix color like this. And when you mix between the two, you can kind of find the right balance of white or black, or if you want it to go darker, get black in there. Want to go lighter, get a little white, and just swirl it around until you find the color that you want. That looks good. I'm going to use that. And use your paper towel to wipe off your to be your brush. Now it looks to be about we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. About nine or ten of these shapes. And these are gonna be rough. I'm not gonna care too much about detail right now. These are just the outlines. So we're gonna do kind of little little square shapes. So we got a little square right here. And those are the ones we can see the best. These other ones, square shaped, um, have to be dead on straight ahead square. So this one's a little bit angled. Just 
edges there. And top, we've got one that's kind of a sideways. Angular one here. We're only really seeing three sides of it around the jar. And this right here is more like around the just a bunch of sides of other ones that we don't see the blue. Are really dark on here. I hate to have some of my little black stuff on, so I can do darker shadowing in here. And a couple other places I see some shadow, I might as well, since I've got my dark paint right here. The dark place. Kind of dry brushing some of that darkness up in here because like later we're going to do some um, misty um, shine off the top of the jar but for now finishing off these little shapes some of them have these little pokey bits that come out So next, I'm going to do some white in the very centers of these. And I'm not really caring about how this looks. I'm just doing a dollop almost of white. nice and thick. All right, so then with a good detail brush, this one is, those bristles are in little circles in a circle shape and it's very soft bristles. It's a little bit, um, doesn't have a nice point. It's um, definitely got a nice width to it. We're gonna use this with our blue. Can be blue, darker, color is great and bright description of rarity. Ah, got you. Cool. So the blue, just grabbing a bunch of this blue on my nice little brush, and we're going to paint around the white and even blend with it a little bit.
love it. It's a big gooey mess right now. But there's some fun in that. Get these bonus highlights and shadows just from the paint, the paints blending together as you go. Oh, that's so fun. Cool. Um, all right, I am opting to go in with some purple. White, I definitely want to brighten up some of the white here. It's so fun when painting with thick paint like this, because and then you know when it dries, it's all going to be so fun and textured. A little bit of Purple. I don't need a lot actually, so that's just perfect. Just throwing in some purple here and there. It, it's kind of like surrounds the blue and then goes out into those weird little pokey bits. So I'm kind of like giving these little circles eye makeup. It's a little bit of purple. Straighten out.
little bit of pink. Here. Pink and purple just are good friends, you know. So use the purple. In this jar a bit. Doing a scumbling technique with my tiny brush. Some textured fill in. A little bit of pink without it being um, very blends with everything. Aha! Maybe a little more scumble texture down here. Well. I love the word scumble. My favorite art. I got a little bit of paint on the white, but that's fine. We're going to go back and do a touch up white at the end. Feeling better, KJ? I hope so. Hi, Ray. Oh, Ray, it was here and then left. Good night. Good night. Thank you for being here. Been lurking this whole time. I love that yellow. Hey, Viter. Welcome. I'm glad you like the yellow. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, Ryder and Raya. Good night. Sweet dreams. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to hit the like button and all that good stuff. So, we're getting close to finished. I'm very excited. We have some finishing touches. I'm just going to let the paint chillax for a second and... Um, sort of dry a little bit. It's very thick and it's not going to be dry, but I want to wrap my brain around the next bit here before going hog wild. And it's so thick, some of this paint is threatening to drip. Don't do it. Don't drip. <laughs> Super fun. This painting turned out a lot more fun than I even thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be fun, but woo, fun. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We want to let this dry. We're going to do some touch-ups with white before, uh, after it's drying. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just do a little bit of shadowing on the lid to make it a little more solid with, um, I'm going to mix a tiny bit of brown into the gold I already used and just see if I can't darken it, but keep some of the metallic quality. So 
right here where I've got the goldish color, I'll just put a tiny bit of brown right next to it. And then I'm going to take the stem of a brush and just scoop a little brown on there and blend on the edge. I'm just trying to darken up this grassy color a little bit. For a lot of it. I want it to have a nice contrast so we can add some details to the lid. That looks pretty good. Wipe off the tip of your brush with your paper towel. And so I'll just grab a little bit of this now darker brassy color. I'm using a very small brush that has nice thin close together bristles. And I'm gonna highlight the, the top of the lid by adding in shadow. A very um the metallic colors can be sort of transparent so it has that see-through quality. It also doesn't dry very fast apparently. That's the top of our lid, and we can kind of give it a nice swoosh. But we definitely have a more solid shape to the top of the lid, right? Then right here where I have just the texture of the paint was defining it. I'm just going to define it even more. Some of the background yellow is coming through. I like that. It's kind of a bright shininess added. With a very small detail brush, I'm just going to try to get a little more solid line. And I'm using just a straight brown for these shadows here because I really want to give it a nice detail pop. That's pretty cool. See, now it has 
solidity. <laughs> so it's built like it's actually keeping the biological sample in the jar. Very nice. Super cool. And I would just want to do our finishing touch on the white border. We'll clean up the areas that we encroached upon. I'm just going to rinse off this brush because I like this little white brush that I was using, but it got too, too much in the paint. It was fully soaked. I want a little more control than that would provide. I'm drying off most of that water. And with my white, we'll just touch up the edges of the jar. We go. Very touched up. It's glowing. <laughs> so I what I it's also very, very wet. And my finishing touches would be adding some glare to the outside of the jar. Uh, which we would need to do dry brushing, and we would need to make sure that everything underneath is not going to smear when we do that. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I think that I'm going to end off the stream for today, and that we're going to come revisit this painting. We've never done a revisitation, and maybe we'll do a two-for-one, where we'll revisit this painting and do our finishing touches, but I also want to revisit our friend from last week. We uh, did a special spooky kind of painting reminiscent of the ones I did in 2020. And uh, we're creating a trio of just like this, this cool, like shadowy, um, more monstrosity driven themed painting and the monstrosity we made last week he's missing an eyeball i didn't realize that he has five eyes instead of four so we're gonna revisit that one too i think we'll go and approach a painting from you know what if you do something and you're not satisfied with it that happens sometimes, and every mistake is an opportunity for redesign. That's the beauty of acrylic paint and why I love to work with it. So we'll have a whole um, painting stream next time where we're revisiting paintings that either need to be finished with finishing touches or completely redesigned. So maybe not completely, just a part of it. The eyeballs, you know, I don't know. We're, we're going to see where it takes us. So I'm excited um, for that. I hope you are too. Thank you for joining me today for this luscious, beautiful, here, I'll give you another look at it. Look how cool this has turned out. I'm gonna give you a little closer look. 
our little biological sample. And actually, what I want to do, you guys, is get a bunch of square canvases and do an entire series of ingredients from No Man's Sky. And I think that would be cool. We'll do, they'll be perfectly square and I can, I'm going to line them up like a periodic table. It's going to be super cool. <laughs> so, um, what do you, I hope you guys think that's cool. Let me know in the comments. Um, we're all rooting for you, KJ. Yeah, KJ, feel better. Oh my gosh, Dave Vonti snuck in here. Hey, thanks for the Oreos. You know, when you have one of those runs of BS in your life, Fighter, I'm about midstream. Thanks for asking. Ugh. Ugh. I do know, KJ. I'm in one now, but at the start. Oh. This must be the month of BS. I had three super bad things happen, and seems like a lot of streamers are. People in streams I have watched that had bad issues as well. Yes. Hope it goes by fast, Spider. We're all rooting for you, KJ. Super healing and happiness and Oreos and details on the lid is super. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you, KJ. It won't, but here's hoping. Oh, don't let Baby Yoda near them. He'll eat them all. I know he would. Those look tasty. It was sad and funny at the same time. Hey, Maddie, any updates on the Bob Ross plushie plans? Oh, they're, I'm basically going to take everyone's suggestions, and I haven't done it yet, but I, I'm going to. If you care to tell us what we're going to do with the Bob Ross plushie, um, I could add a couple more things, maybe, maybe. But I, the plan is to like, I'm gonna pour red paint all over him, and then, uh, put him in the washer so we can watch him tumble around and be abused. And then I'm going to, um, I think there's something in there where I'm decapitating him or something, and then I'm gonna make. I'll probably wind up making like two little dog toys for Naboo and we'll send it to Tom. <laughs> so this will, it'll, it'll be a long saga. Trust me. <laughs> uh, thank you, Eddie. It looks awesome. Thank you, Lee. Thank you for being here and enjoying. Have you ever played Ori? Would you ever think about painting Ori or something from the game? I'll check it out. I'll look it up. I don't know. I haven't heard of it. I mean, I've heard, I think I've heard of it, but I, don't have a picture in my mind so I'll check into it thanks for the suggestion um Daya, if you play and you have screenshots and you go to my discord the madfish magpie discord you can paint uh or you can post I think I have to create a new channel for just like paint and gamer or I already did I might have already done it paint and gamer post your screenshot from a different game there um I already have a special nms screenshots channel and an NMS, uh, or sorry, HCD screenshots, Horizon Zero Dawn. So if you guys have specific posts from those games, post those there. I do check there for inspiration. I do also look at other people's discords and Twitter and all that. So, uh, but if you want to get it to me directly, uh, and an awesome inspiration photo you may already have, go ahead and, uh, look for the Painting Gamer. If it's not already there, I'll put it there right after this stream. Painting Gamer channel. And if it's not NMS or HCD, um post it post it there that'd be great super healing to everyone <sighs> meow meow plays ori that's right that, that's why it rang a bell because i have seen her playing it i just haven't played it myself so yeah i'll check it out i would love to paint something from there i painted from omno when nella was playing it and i love that painting i love that painting it turned out so good um yeah, do all the postings, inspire me, be inspired yourselves, paint you guys, all of us who are hurting, if you're, if you're not physically hurting so badly, you can't paint, um, or, or just color, get some crayons, and just, it can kind of get your mind out of your present body pain, and into a present artistic brain, that can sometimes just sort of, if not heal you physically, it'll heal you spiritually, or a little bit. Painting and doing art is like taking apart all the things that we can't bring to our conscious mind. It might be so hurtful that we just like put them away to protect ourselves. Doing art allows you to sort of unpack that stuff without it being painful, in my opinion. So 
Um, I will be going back to it. Awesome. That's great. For Omno. Excellent. Hi, Bobby. Welcome. Thank you for being here. We're just ending off. It was such a great painting. And we will revisit it next week. We have some finishing touches to do, but it's too wet to, to do it. So check this out. Check it out. How cool is that? And look, I'll show you how wet it is. Uh, let's actually go back to the other view for this. Uh, you can see the shine. There's the shine. I'll find it. There it is. Do you see how shiny that is? Well, that's also the metallic paint, but... Wetness. It's wet. It's wet paint. That's all I can tell you. I can't paint on top of it. <laughs> but the finishing touch will be to do like a, a streak of white across the jar that gives the jar like it looks like it's actually containing something and there's light reflecting off of it. So it's a really important part of the painting. I might even do a little extra kind of glowiness. But I have to wait for the contents of the jar to dry before I'm able to do that. So we're going to wait and we're going to do a special finishing touches episode of Painting Gamer next Saturday at 1030 a.m. Pacific time. So once again, thanks for coming by, you guys. Hit the like while you're here. I do appreciate it. And tell your friends to come sub to me because we got to get there. We got to we got to get there. <laughs> and all of your support is dearly, dearly appreciated. Um, everybody's been having a hard time and I am heartbroken that my friends, KJ, Biter, you guys are hurting. Orphe, you said you were hurting. I think a lot of us are hurting and I'm not saying that to, to decrease anybody, anyone's experience. I think everyone's experience is valid and, and valuable and just as heartbreaking as the next we can't compare we just can't compare our lives and know though that challenges um are meant to be fought i hope we win those challenges let us know if there's anything we can do other than cheering you on to support because just knowing people are there helps and I know you guys are there and I've I've been I said some not nice things on a stream a while ago because I was really feeling really down, like really down, like like scary down, like I didn't want to be here anymore. And I'm feeling better. I've been working on that. It takes work. But having love and support and knowing that it's all there, it helps. And we are all here for you guys. So please let me know if there's anything I can do. I I juggle and I could get on Zoom with you and juggle for you. If that would make you feel better. <laughs> um, but no, in all seriousness, we're here. I'm sorry that doesn't help like significantly other than just knowing that you've got support and love coming at you. Such a hard isolating time we've been in and it's going to be very interesting how we make our way out of it. But I think it's affected a lot of us more than we'd like to say and we're all not alone we're all going through it and i i am heartbroken when i hear that it's even worse because of some other thing that decided to just be a big you know a pile of pancakes is awesome but when other things start piling up that isn't pancakes it can be very frustrating <laughs> And it's hard to know sometimes how to get at least the emotions out surrounding whatever you're dealing with so that you can deal with it. So punching bags, painting, whatever it is, I hope you find it. I hope that you are able to make time for self-care and whatever that looks like for you. For all my friends, I love you. I hope you feel better. Thanks for being here. And helping me to feel better. Thank you, really. Um, I'm making pulled pork today. Oh, Bobby, this is exactly what I want to do with your barbecue sauce. I want pulled pork sandwiches. You're making me jealous. Uh, <laughs> exactly what I was thinking, KJ. Moist. Don't forget to smash the like button, everyone, and sub. Yes, thank you, Bobby. Don't compare, just share. 
Hashtag Neath. It's true. Much love. Much, much love. Agreed. Such good mad advice. Ugh. I can't stop. I just can't. I'm unstoppable. No, uh, you guys take care, please. And I'll see you next Saturday. And I'll see you tomorrow for the gag podcast. And be well. Until then. Bye. Oh my god, I totally forgot. We're gonna Beeble Raid. If you haven't already, please go Beeble Raid. Madfish Raid, Painting Gamer. Hashtag Madfish Raid. Hashtag Painting Gamer. 1G.